we're going to switch gears again to what has been called a David versus Goliath battle in the city of Minneapolis. It's a Minneapolis small business and it stands victorious in this battle. The herbivorous butcher has been fighting Sweet Earth Inc. Who's that? It's a company owned by Nestle because it wanted that Sweet Earth Inc. wanted to stake claim on the phrase the vegan butcher. Well, the court said, no, no, no. Here's Sharon. For the love of having access to the things that they love to eat was the reason why siblings Aubrey and Kale Walsh started the herbivorous butcher in 2014. There was a ton of incredible companies that have been around forever, but that's all we were able to eat. There was Tofurky and Follow Your Heart and all these great companies, but we wanted more. Since then, the beloved Northeast Minneapolis company has grown to satiate the cravings vegans may have for meat, cheese, and other animal products. When we first started the herbivorous butcher, the term vegan butcher didn't really exist. A lot of people laughed at it. It was kind of a strange, uh, strange name, but we created it and we feel very strongly about it and we're passionate about the movement. So they thought, hey, why not trademark the vegan butcher? But the courts denied their application, saying it was, quote, too descriptive. Within a month after our application ended, Sweet Earth Foods, which is owned by Nestle, jumped in to trademark vegan butcher. And from what we saw online, uh, they were fast tracked to getting it approved. Were you feeling like you guys were not being allowed the privileges of a big conglomerate? Um, yes, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but it's really interesting because for us, it's something so personal and something we're so passionate about. And for someone to be able to just come in and grab it up because uh, the term had a ring to it and people were really liking vegan butcher shops, it, it kind of felt like we were getting slighted, you know, as the as the movement that helped create it, uh, we weren't able to use it anymore. So they lawyered up and went to court and the fight became more than just about them. The vegan butcher movement, it's for everybody and it shouldn't be for any one business or any one corporation. So it's our intent to protect that term from now on for all of the meat free movement. Nestle ended up backing down, letting the phrase the vegan butcher roam free. Had you lost, <laughs> did you think about what in this world could I possibly call a vegan butcher shop? Yeah, it's funny because I, I didn't ever think that there would be a time when we wouldn't be able to use it. So we went into this fully expecting and wanting with all our heart to be able to keep it. And I think with the support of our community and the vegan community around the world, it really pushed us towards that. So what did the big company have to say? Well, Sharon reached out to Sweet Earth Inc. and Nestle. We didn't hear back from them. So there you go.